Some of you might remember watching Dragon Ball Z, seeing them kind of power up and go Super Saiyan and like those rocks would lift up from the ground and they would kind of pressurize and you'd see those rocks floating and fly, you know, flying into the sky. I love that. That was so exciting. Let me know in the comments if you watch Dragon Ball Z. Um, anyway, I wanted to do that to this asteroid. You saw last video, I had kind of the beginnings of that. I got it figured out here. Let me show you what I did in the code real quick and we'll run through it. So in the code here, you'll notice I got multiple serialized fields. In particular, we have rock prefabs. I broke down that prefab of, I think it was like nine rocks into individual prefabs. And then I have like a pool size. I wanna spawn a ton of rocks, a thousand rocks. I wanna spawn them generally around the player. I tried spawning them around the asteroid like all over and it was just, it wasn't performing at all. It was a little laggy. Um, and then I wanna lift them. So I have a lift speed, I have a max lift height. So if they go too high, we just kind of respawn them in a different area. And then they kind of rotate when they're moving. Um, so yeah, that's about it. What else I have here? Obviously the player distance. I have the terrain so they can kind of see if they're near the terrain. I have the animate rocks, um, method here that updates on update, right? Every frame. And then I have the spawn rock method here. It's kind of a lot to go into. Some of it I don't understand. As I mentioned before, you can use AI to do this. I typed every word, every letter on here so that I could learn a good portion of it, but it's kind of too long to go into detail of what I've learned. Let me show you what it looks like because that is the exception exciting part. I'm going to mute the volume just because it's a little loud and I want you to see these. So do you see kind of these particles floating around? Before I die here, I got to move, right? Uh, it might be kind of hard to see, but you can see them out on the sides there. Almost looks like snow, right? Let me show you what it looks like in, uh, in the scene view because it's kind of cool on this side too. It's almost like it's snowing out there and I have the particles almost like as a purple look and uh, I think it's pretty awesome. They're actually just squares on top of an asteroid. If we if we pause this, we can maybe zoom in on one. Yeah, there you go. So you can see they're the asteroids here and they just have like a square particle that's going on them. So super cool. I love this. Um, it's super exciting to make. I'm going to I'm actually going to continue to uh, edit it and kind of make the particles a little better. Maybe, maybe even give them like a, a stream of steam coming off the bottom, like they're rising up from this asteroid as it's as maybe they're melting. But uh, let me know what you think. I think this is a super cool effect, but that's what I'm working on. I'll see you tomorrow.